Trackhouse is joining MotoGP. Yeah, you heard me correct. Justin Marks and Trackhouse are at it again doing big things, shocking everybody because they were reportedly buying the assets of RNF Racing and MotoGP and will join the World Championship next year. We'll talk about that team more in a second, but this just follows in the line of Justin Marks doing big things. Buying Chip Ganassi Racing right out of the blue. Signing Ross Chastain, well, continuing on that relationship, going and winning with Ross Chastain last year, putting themselves into the championship four, bringing Sham Van Gisbergen over to the United States, winning in his debut, bringing Kimi Räikkönen into NASCAR to race for Project 91. And now he's going to race MotoGP as he attempts to become the Rick Ware of motorsport, apparently. The guy just won't stop, and he's been successful in NASCAR. They've won seven races over the last two years with three different drivers. There's no reason to think that in a couple years he could be competitive in MotoGP, especially if he gets good manufacturer support. Once again, though, Justin Marks continues to just do things where you're like, I didn't have that in my off-season bingo card. Didn't think that was going to happen. Because if you probably would ask anybody within the motorsport realm what maybe Justin Mark's next move would have been, it likely would have been an expansion into IndyCar because he was spotted at the Indy 500 last year. He had talked openly about wanting to field a car in the Indy 500 and potentially going with Trackhouse full-time in IndyCar at some point as well. He has good ties to Chevy, so it all kind of made sense. MotoGP? MotoGP was never even on the radar. MotoGP is not really on anybody's radar in the United States, unfortunately, because NBC does such a bad job promoting the sport and putting it on at times where absolutely nobody's watching unless you stay up for a slap chop commercial at 3 o'clock in the morning on CNBC. Other than that, you're not watching this series ever, and it's unfortunate because MotoGP remains one of the best championships in motorsport. It's super competitive, it's got great storylines, it's just that it's really hard to watch in the United States, unless you want to watch on tape delay, and then you already know what happened, but you could buy the MotoGP pass, but who's buying the MotoGP pass? Let's be honest, there's no Americans that are up running in the front, and they didn't have a Drive to Survive series on Netflix, they did have one on Amazon, which is pretty good, go watch it if you want to, it just doesn't have the popularity here. Hasn't stopped Justin Marks, though, because he is buying RNF Racing. An official announcement hasn't been made yet, but will be forthcoming, and we'll see Trackhouse expand their horizons into MotoGP. And RNF Racing this season has been a bit of a mixed bag of results. They switched from Yamaha to a Priya this season, and they have Miguel Oliveira, who's a pretty stout MotoGP rider, and they have Raul Fernandez as well. They have nine top tens this season as a team three top five finishes, so there is some speed to build off of there. Do I think that Trackhouse is going to go out and win races in MotoGP in 2024? Absolutely not. Do I think they could be competitive in 2025 and contending in 2026? Sure. I mean, at this point, I don't think anybody should doubt Justin Marks because he's a guy that comes in and talks about wanting to disrupt everything. And that can be annoying at times. And it is like his little stick. But at the end of the day, Trackhouse is coming in here and doing things where you're like, well, they said they were going to do it. And they actually did do it. You know, they are bucking the trend. They are not the... They're not your traditional team owner. They're not your traditional team. They're doing things differently, and they're being successful while doing it. So to go off and have them be competitive in MotoGP wouldn't shock me. So the team that he's buying, RNF Racing, it was previously known as Sepang Racing Team, SRT, which not to be confused with the Dodge version of SRT. But it was owned by the Sepang International Circuit in Malaysia. They had sponsorship from Petronas, obviously the state-owned oil company in Malaysia as well, the same Petronas that is on the Mercedes F1 team. Uh, when Petronas pulled out in 2021 as the main sponsor, SRT, Sepang International Circuit, sold the team and its assets. Before Petronas did pull out of the team, though, the team did field bikes for guys like Valentino Rossi. Ever heard of him? Fabio Quartararo, 2021 champ, and Franco Morbidelli. The team has had fast guys on those bikes. But when Petronas did pull out, though, the team decided to sell out the assets to Sepang International Circuit CEO Razlan Razali, and he turned it into RNF Racing. And they've had a mixed bag of results since then, but the team is now facing a financial shortfall because their title sponsor, Crypto Data, didn't come through with their financial obligations in terms of payment. Shocking, I know. Another crypto company that's not paying their bills. You would think people would learn by now. I mean, Landon Castle could have warned you about this. The Miami Heat. Uh, the list goes on and on. Everybody that got screwed over in the Binance, deal and everything else. So there's a whole lot of people out there that could have told you this is probably a bad idea, but they come through, flash the money like they're rocket. And all of a sudden everybody's like, yeah, come on in. It's going to be fine. They're going to pay their bills, right? Right? Right, Rich Energy? They're going to pay their bills and then they just never do. So they're for now fi facing a financial shortfall. So they're selling off the assets of the team. That's where Justin Marks comes in. And with him and his family money, I'm assuming, 
he's going to go in and buy this team and try to turn it around. So when RNF Racing did buy the assets from SRT, they did come to an agreement with Dorna, who operates MotoGP. Think of them as like their FOM, their, their version of Formula One uh, management. They did come to agreement with them that they would have a grid spot through the 2026 season. Just going to assume that Justin Marks buying the assets of RNF Racing means that that agreement will continue through at least 2026, and we'll see what happens with that. But I can't imagine that he's buying the assets to a racing team if there's not actually a series for that team to race in. No word on if he gets the RNF Racing Moto E team. I know, shocking. You all just learned that there is a Moto E championship out there as well. I know, it's very confusing, but I don't know if they're getting that. If they do, who knows if it will continue. Regardless, Trackhouse is getting into the MotoGP game. Again, not something I think any of us saw coming um, at all. It'll be interesting to see who they get to be their riders, though. I don't know if there's any young Americans coming up. I'll admittedly not super up on all of my MotoGP news, but it would be cool if they had an American on that bike. Obviously, we haven't had one contending at the top level, at least for race wins, in a little bit of time now. Uh, so it'd be cool to see that. But either way, Trackhouse is a team that's going to take a risk on a guy, probably. I mean, Ross Chastain, was a f he's a liability, let's be completely honest here. He does make some boneheaded decisions, but when he doesn't, he's very fast. He can contend for wins, and we saw last season in 2022, he can contend for a championship when he puts his mind and does creative things. So they're probably willing to take a risk on a guy that might be a, like a liability to some people where they're like, ah, you know, he's got raw talent, but we just haven't been able to refine it yet. Justin Marks seems like a guy uh, with Ty Norris and everybody else involved that can get that done. That's a bigger question. Is Ty Norris going to be involved with this? Did this guy parlay going from at one point being with Winston to DEI to Michael Waltrip Racing to getting kicked out of NASCAR to being back in with Trackhouse? Is he now going to oversee a MotoGP team? The life path of Ty Norris is just something else if that's what ends up happening. But that's what's going on. Trackhouse going to MotoGP. The crossover we didn't know that we were ever going to get is apparently going to happen. And I'm pretty interested to see just how good Justin Marks and this team can be with it. Hopefully we have a formal announcement sometime soon so we can kind of see how everything is laid out. But for now, like and subscribe to the channel. Follow me on TikTok at BreakHard, Instagram and Twitter at BreakHardBlog.